Walmart. I can go to the bathroom. When it comes to giant retailers, Walmart is a cut above the rest. It is the largest private employer in the U.S., and its annual revenue is in the hundreds of billions. That's the budget of a small European country. But not everything is rosy for the large corporation. No company wants anything out there that would tarnish its image. So let's uncover 10 secrets Walmart doesn't want you to know, part two. It is 9 o'clock and Walmart is closing. Owned by a wealthy family. And you're not our own kind. Because I'm not rich. The first fact about Walmart relates to the owners. Understandably, this is one nugget the wealthy family wouldn't like to get around. But it's not exactly a secret that the Waltons own the large retailer, which makes them the richest family in the world. Even oil companies can't compete with the riches of these guys. As the sole heir, you own 51% of the voting stock. So what does that tell us besides the fact that the first part of the retailer's name comes from the family name? It actually tells us a lot, especially if we add another fact about the low wages and harsh working conditions of the employees. We've already covered that point in part one of this series. When you think of the richest family in the world adding billions to their wealth every year while the employees are only getting poorer, you can understand why the Waltons prefer to stay out of the limelight. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being rich. The only thing that is wrong here is that if you, as the owner, keep getting richer by exploiting your workers and not sharing your profits with them. Walmart would rather pay the shareholders than raise the wages of the employees to $15 an hour. We've all heard about corporate greed, but this one takes the cake. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Day-old bread is just as yummy. It's a great morning, no matter how you slice it. That was a dark start, so let's turn our attention to something that would benefit you if you shop at Walmart. It's about bread. We all love the smell of fresh bread. But living in a city makes the chance of seeing fresh bread coming out of the oven as rare as spotting a unicorn strolling down Times Square. And since most of us get our bread from the supermarket, the expiry date is the way to tell if it's actually fresh or not. If you buy your bread from Walmart, take a walk down the bakery aisle. There you'll find day-old bread and other bakery products. One successful company that isn't cookie-based Microsoft. For one thing, they're cheaper than the fresh ones. But other than the price, there's not much difference between them and the ones that were baked on the same day. They both taste the same, smell the same, and look the same. So why not save a few bucks on your bakery items every week? You can get a loaf of bread for as low as $1. Of course, Walmart offers these huge discounts because the company would rather sell them at any price rather than throw them away. So it is a win-win for everyone. That is how we win. Cheap labor. You gotta work hard. I swear to God, if you're not gonna do it, I'm out. We've talked before about big corporations running overseas sweatshops and sometimes utilizing child labor to cut down on costs and increase their profit. A quick Google search will yield plenty of scandals of this type. But what's new here is that you don't need to go overseas to find cheap labor. Why go through the trouble when you have private prison systems that offer an endless supply of convicts all year round? And the prosecution has not presented one single piece of evidence against me. And it's all legal. Now, these convicts who are forced to work for as low as $2 an hour don't work directly for Walmart. There's no chance of that. Just think of the public outcry if you discovered that the guy who stocked the shelves at the fresh produce section was a convict serving a life sentence. It wouldn't look good. So instead, these modern-day slaves work in farms harvesting veggies and fruits. What's more, it turns out that this systematic exploitation of prisoners isn't unique to the U.S. either. In China, this unjust practice is widespread and involves forcing prisoners to work 14 hours a day in harsh and inhumane conditions. And all so that we can get our groceries at a low price while the shareholders in Walmart get higher returns on their investment. Welcome to the real world. The sweet dollar deals. Wow, a dollar! We mentioned that if you know where to look, you can find a loaf of bread selling for $1 at Walmart. Luckily, there's no cheap labor involved here, and the low prices are part of a marketing campaign to attract customers. Furthermore, a loaf of bread is not the only thing you can get for a buck at the giant retailer. Much like a dollar store, Walmart offers its customers the occasional dollar deal to keep them coming back. The trick is to know when such deals are on and which aisles have the coveted cheap merchandise. Sometimes you can get champagne 
shampoos, deodorants, and other personal grooming products at a dollar a piece. You haven't showered, didn't you? You smell good. So it's always a good idea to check there more often. You'll also find gift cards and greeting cards for this low price all year round. These gifts are reserved for the people you don't care very much about, but still have to send them a gift anyway. Some websites like I Heart the Mart keep a page dedicated to these dollar deals at Walmart. So it's worth checking there before you head over to your nearest Walmart for your regular shopping. Come back to the Walmart. Think I'll still be there waiting for you five years later. Walmart and the cops. Am I in trouble? They're gonna arrest me. What for? For living in the Walmart. We all try to love and respect the police. From a distance, that is. Nobody likes to have a cop tailing them. On the road, a police car is always better ahead of you than behind you. This is not a reflection of a guilty conscience. It's just that when a cop approaches, it's often followed by a knot in your stomach and the assumption you must have done something wrong or that you're about to be blamed for something you didn't do. Walmart, on the other hand, has a deep love for cops. See, Walmart employees like to call the cops a lot, more so than other businesses that deal with the public. Someone lifts a $3 pack of tissues? Call the cops. I called the cops. A hungry guy makes it out the door with a day-old loaf of bread? Bring the wrath of the police force on them. It's ridiculous. Where's the Walmart security? I hear you ask. Well, that's the point. Walmart would rather the local cops handle incidents of petty theft than the company pay for their own security system. Why hire mall cops when you have the men and women in blue a phone call away? And if you're thinking that this would only stretch the police force and keep them from dealing with a serious crime, you wouldn't be wrong. But but that trivial point doesn't seem to bother the management at Walmart as long as it keeps costs down. How much is this? $1,200. Great. Free shipping, obviously. Mon and I sell religious hook rugs over the internet. This is one nifty trick that many people may not know about and will save you a lot of money and time while you're shopping. If you like to shop online, you'll be pleased to know that Walmart delivers your purchases to your home free of charge. The minimum order has to be $35, however. Sweet. But what if your order is less than that? Easy. Easy as pie. You can choose the ship to store option. It means your order will be ready for you to pick up at any store of your choosing. Here's how you can use that option to your advantage. Say your day is packed with errands and you don't have time to go to Walmart and spend hours walking down aisles, picking stuff, and having to wait in line at the cashier. Just make your shopping trip online and have them ship it to the store. Now all you need to do is drop by the store later that day or the next day and pick up your order. It doesn't get easier than that. You save time and all also money, since online prices are usually cheaper than the ones in the physical store. Welcome to the internet, my friend. Win the price wars. A price for everything. I think we can all agree that one of the best features of capitalism is the fact that it doesn't tolerate one person or company to have a monopoly over the market. Usually. At least there are rules and regulations in place to prevent such manipulative practices. And no matter what you think of Walmart or its closest rival, Amazon, you must appreciate their rivalry. As consumers, we like to see the price wars rage on as each retailer tries to seduce us with huge discounts and amazing promotions. It's a thrilling feeling to snag a deal online or buy a TV set for next to nothing. I want to watch it downstairs on the big TV! So the question now is, how can can you best benefit from the price feud between the two giants? Easy enough. Compare prices online and make sure you get the best deal. There's no point in being a loyal customer to one retailer or the other when you can save real cash on your weekly shopping. Remember that free shipping service we talked about previously? It wouldn't be possible if Amazon wasn't trying to woo customers with free shipping as well. It's a great time to be alive, isn't it? The best you'll ever have. Seek the coupons. Here's a coupon. Whoa, well, whoa, well, look, pal, I don't take coupons from giant chickens. One of the best things about Walmart is that it allows you to keep the change on your coupon. Say you have a $10 coupon and you made a purchase for $8.35. That leaves you with $1.65. Walmart will let you keep that $1.65 and use it in future shopping. Now you can understand why your Aunt Myrtle spends hours scouring papers and websites looking for Walmart coupons. So where can you get your hands on these coupons? We'll save you the embarrassment of having to ask Aunt Myrtle. She probably won't tell you anyway. Not after you insulted her pooch and called her cat neurotic. And we'll just refer you to some good websites. There was a miscommunication when we registered our website. 
You can visit I Heart the Mart or Passion for Savings to find coupons and special deals. It also helps to follow Walmart on social media, such as Twitter, where they post special offers on a regular basis. Chasing coupons might sound like a waste of time, but when you see the savings you can make on your grocery shopping, you'll probably change your mind and decide to make coupon hunting a regular pastime of yours, and nobody has to know. You saved $1,064.40. Two cents. It's all in the price tag. Possible to make them think I might actually buy something. This is definitely a secret that Walmart wouldn't want you to know about. It has to do with the price tag code the company uses. When you see a new item on the shelf, such as a lamp or toaster, you might be tempted to buy it before it gets picked by other customers. But that's not usually a good idea. Time is on your side here when planning your shopping strategy. Large retailers like Walmart don't like products with a heavy butt. By that, we mean items that stay on the shelves for months on end. A quick turnover is the goal of every retailer, so when an item sits around for weeks without making a sale, the company usually gives it a new price tag with a discount. I'm also going to need that extended warranty on it for the price of on the house. So how do you know if this is the first price tag or a final one? That's where the price tag code comes in. If the price tag ends with a 7, then it's a new item and this is the original price. So a pen that sells for $2.97 means it just got here, and if you wait a little, the price will come down. The discounted price usually ends with a 5, so a few weeks later you might find the same pen selling for $2.35. When the product still won't sell, Walmart We'll give it a few more discounts. Keep that in mind the next time you want to buy at the retailer. Oh, I got money. The president of Walmart sent me $500. New parents get free stuff. Give us free. As we mentioned before, not all big corporations are evil, and not all their marketing strategies are aimed at snaring the customers and fleecing them. Certainly not this one, which is a good practice by the giant retailer. New parents will get a free baby box. You'll need to fill out a form on the Walmart website. Just navigate to the baby box page to apply. Sure enough, Walmart will send a baby box to your home free of charge. So what's in the box? Well, as expected, you'll find lots of stuff related to babies. From pacifiers, to diapers, nursing pads, wipes, and feeding bottles. Most of these free samples will give you a leg up in the new parenthood thing and help you try the products before you buy them. Naturally, you'll be purchasing loads of these baby items, so it's always a good idea to know which brands are good for your baby. Walmart will open again at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Stick around and tap that screen to check out one of our other great videos. And if you're here for the first time, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and swat that subscribe button and ding that notification bell.